I absolutely love filming these videos. I'm just surrounded with crap. <laughs> I'm literally just surrounded with my year's worth of makeup rubbish. So if you don't know guys, I am going to be today filming my yearly makeup empties. This is the third time I've actually started doing this and I have to say I love it. I don't know what started it, I don't know why I do it, what the purpose is. I enjoy it, I really do enjoy it and it's so therapeutic going through products throughout the year and just watching the watching this wee box fill up. Well, we just get into it because obviously this does take a while, while long time. Palettes for me is definitely one thing that I always, I really feel accomplished <laughs> and really empowered every time I use up an eyeshadow palette. And I'll tell you what, it's hard. And I can honestly count on one hand how many eyeshadow palettes I've completely used up. It is so difficult and also because I have so many as well it's just it's an absolute nightmare but however I was trying my damned hardest to get through the Anastasia Soft Glam palette this year excuse the packaging of this it is skanky as hell it has been through it <laughs> Um, and as you can see, I've done my fair bit with this palette, I really have, and I was really on the fence on whether to actually get rid of it this year or keep it until next year because obviously this year I would probably say I would be able to get through it because as you can see, I've still some of the black left, some of this shade here, a shimmer and this mulberry shade, yeah, mulberry. So they're actually shades that I use nearly on an everyday basis, but... I'm just looking rid of it. You know the way you just get bored of using the same palette over and over again? Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. This is not an empty, technically, but the last time I did use this, it messed up. So I do feel like it should have been bent a long time ago. It's expired more than likely. Guys, I went through 17 setting sprays this year. Freaking 17. How many faces am I setting? <laughs> Seriously! Beauty Bay Oil Control Mist LMD Cosmetics Dust Till Dawn Revolution Super J Fix and Mist This is actually like my favourite go-to drugstore setting spray and then my all-time favourite setting spray is definitely the Morphe Continuous Mist Yes to Coconut Milk Coconut Milk Coconut Milk Mystifying Moisturiser not a fan, I have to say. The Morphe 2 Pick Me Up Mist. These sweet scent sprays here from Primark are fab. They are so, so good. This one is Harmony. It's a hydrating priming spray. And then this one is Serenity, which is also a hydrating priming spray. A Makeup Obsession Eliminating Scent Spray. Dear Clars Fundamental Ampule Mist. Love that. It's actually more of like a skincare mist. This is the Luna by Lisa Jordan Glow Illuminate Spray. The Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This is another way setting spray, which is amazing. Did I not just say the Morphe 2? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, this is the Revolution Super Dre Hydrian Mist. I went through a wee mini version of the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. Iconic. The Catrice Chic Fix and Glow. 4-3 Beauty slash Colourpop Mellow Milk Calming Mist. And then the Makeup Obsession Mega Glow. The Makeup Obsession Setting Sprays are actually really, really good, by the way. Especially the Mister Primer. <laughs> Makeup Obsession Picture Perfect Primer. Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. <laughs> I absolutely love this wee stuff. It's so, so good. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Also a fabulous wee primer. Primer and oh, I was actually really really sad to actually use this up because I love this product. I loved Becca's like primers or like prep products um, but this is the Becca Backlight Prime and Filter. So good. Affinity Beauty Primer. What is this called? Just Pro Filter. I went through these two XX Revolution primers. These are actually really nice, you know. Um, Youth Jizz and Face Freeze. This is the MEI Academy Pro Base Hyaluronic Acid Jelly Primer. You can definitely tell that hyaluronic acid in skincare products or makeup products was definitely a thing, right? <laughs> over the past couple of years. This is just a wee sample size of the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Primate Moisturizer. 
Parfix primer from Real Love Slash Revolution, another one which is the H2O, H2O Hydrating Primer. And then this is the Technique Enchanting Elixir. This was actually a really nice wee primer. It just comes in like a wee dropper. Um, just nicely really like moisturise the skin. And then this is the Walida Skin Food. I did not like this and I, I, I just do not like this. Everybody raves about this stuff but it's just it's not great. There I said it. Sue me. <laughs> um, I don't like this one but the light one however is definitely so much better. This stuff was just thick, 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 thick. And this has come from somebody who has a like, quite dry skin and Kylie would also have really dry skin. And even he was like, that's just, that's just like too thick. So we did end up using it like between the both of us, <laughs> but not great to be honest. This is from Itched House and this is the Glow On um primer and it was actually like in a collaboration with tom and jerry which i thought was quite cute this is the revolution candy haze primer we have another wee primer from Etude house which is also kind of this these kind of came in a pack but this one here is the face blur soothing primer i finally went through my catrice watermelon burst hydrating primer <laughs> Um, and also with this one, some of these products I've honestly had for like such a long time. Um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Glow, Ultra Glow Face Primer. This watermelon one from Revolution. The Tarte Quench Primer. This was really good actually. And then lastly, the 43 Beauty Thirst Aid Moisturising Primer. So I actually didn't go through as many foundations as I thought I would have, but still quite a lot though. <laughs> so I went through the Hidden Beauty foundation stick. This actually was in the wrong shade for me whenever I wasn't fake tanned. I actually ended up using this as cream contour, cream bronzer, whatever. But I then just stopped doing that. <laughs> and I actually ended up having to mix it with another foundation because it was just a wee bit too dark for me. I actually used this up today. <laughs> That's the foundation I have on at the minute. This is the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I'm actually going to keep this. Or no, hold on. No, I don't think I need to because I think I have another one already in my collection. But I was going to say I'm going to keep this because I'm actually wanting to do a, a rundown on all my favourite foundations. Like rate my favourite foundations from favourites to least favourites. Like my top 10, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is a brilliant wee foundation. It's so, so good. L'Oreal Tree Match. And of course I went through, I'm surprised I only went through one of these. This is the Be Perfect Cosmetics Chroma Cover. Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, another fabulous one. This is the Body Collection Illuminating Liquid Foundation. MAC, this was definitely a long time coming, holy shit. <laughs> oh god, this is an oldie. MAC Studio Fix High, but yeah, went through one of those. What shade am I? Just out of interest. NC30. That's definitely my fake tan shade. And then I also went through one of these wee Shein Silky Matte Liquid Foundations. Next up for concealer. I'm actually going to do concealer and cream bronzer kind of all in one because I only went through two cream bronzers this year. Which, okay, fair enough. <laughs> if you say so. The MEA Pro Base Foundation Stick. I absolutely loved this for a cream bronzer. Near the end though, I was kind of like, oh god. This again, you know, I was literally just using it to use it up um, because I just had others then that I just kind of liked and would have gravitated towards, but I just wanted to use it to use it up, you know what I mean? And then uh, finally, <laughs> my soul body from ColourPop. Oh my goodness, I've actually already repurchased one of these, but how satisfying is that? You best believe it was so nice to finally get through one of these and I think that's why I don't go through these a lot it's because whenever you buy a cream bronzer like this they last you so long and also because they're so pigmented as well you don't need a lot of the product <laughs> the Urban Decay Stay Naked the Perfect Chroma Cover NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer the XX Revolution just the XX Revolution Concealer I've already repurchased it's Jouer um high coverage liquid concealer i definitely wouldn't repurchase this what shade did i get costard i think i don't know actually yeah it was all right um, yeah <laughs> oh dear god 
And then also another product I finally got used up today is the HMB Cosmetics Soft Airbrush Concealer. Press powders and loose powders. This is from Colourpop, the no filter press powder. Yeah, this is like the no filter finishing press powder. I have two here from Technique. This is the blotting powder and the super fine translucent powder. You will notice that with my powders and I think some of like my blushes and stuff, like technically around the outer perimeter of the pan, there's still a wee bit of product, but do you have any idea how annoying it is to like actually sit and sit and sit and sit and just kind of like swirl your brush in to get like a wee bit of product because it's just all in the outer bit. This one is from Makeup Revolution. Now on to loose powders. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Scent Powder. This is a beautiful powder. I will definitely repurchase this actually. Stunning. Especially with it being from the drugstore and really affordable. This one was also quite good that I actually can see that I haven't actually finished but well. <laughs> There's like literally just like the arse left of it. Uh, this is Relove from Revolution. Relove from Revolution. The HD Super Matte Scent Powder. And also, this is the Too Faced Ethereal. Yeah, the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Scent Powder. And next up, I'm going to do the rest of my powder products. So, blush, highlighter, ew, hair. Um, blush, highlight, bronzer, all that good stuff. I don't actually have that many. And then the rest is all just the rest. <laughs> so, let me see what do we have here. This is the Shein face shimmering powder this was actually really nice like as you can see i definitely liked that like <laughs> mac soft and gentle love this wee highlighter color pop blush in the shade foxy and again you can kind of see that there's like a bit of product still kind of left over in the outer outer edges you know doll beauty shine bright highlighter so that's what it looks like there. This was actually a really weird highlighter to kind of get through because there were so many times I would have been like digging my brush in, digging my brush in and digging my brush in. I wonder why I wasn't able to actually lift up much product. And then it was just like, hold on a minute, that's glue. So like this is actually glue, but it's just that bits of the highlighter has actually like stuck to it. That's weird, isn't it? Is that just, is that just me? Has that happened to anybody else? Body Collection Blush. This wee one here. I don't know why this is in here because I didn't actually use this up. I think this was actually dropped and it just fell out. <laughs> this is the Revolution blush. We have mascara. So this is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. The e.l.f. Oh, I was actually looking at this other night. I was actually going to buy it again because it's so, so good. This is the e.l.f. Lash It Light Mascara. Be Perfect Cosmetics Lash Out. This is such a good mascara. It is brilliant. I would definitely, I was kindly sent this in PR, but I would definitely actually buy that myself. Revolution Rockstar Makeup Obsession Mood Mascara. Body Collection Big Volume Mascara. This is another wee one from e.l.f. It's the Smudge Proof Mascara. It's kind of like a wee jewel where it has like this wee tiny, tiny wand. Look how minuscule that is for like your bottom lashes or whatever. And then just your normal wand. I have this brown mascara from Technique. The Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara, which I actually was not a fan of. I find that it actually throughout the day kind of crumbled onto my face, which I wasn't really a fan of, obviously. And then this is the L'Oreal Air Volume mascara. I have a lot of vibrate products here actually. So first of all, I'll just get these out of the way. Um, I went through one of these wee Colourpop. I'm definitely approaching my 30s. <laughs> this is the brow pomade from Colourpop. And I made a quarter dent in it, as you can see. But there's just like a wee bit of it left there, which, whatever. Um, I went through the Colourpop Clear Feather Effect Styling Wax. It was alright. I definitely wouldn't actually repurchase it or anything. And then also from Revolution, this is disgusting. I've had this for a while. Um, also at the Revolution Soap Brows. Oh, I'm getting serious pins and needles in here. <laughs> oh dear. We have the Elf Wow Brow. Wow Brow. <laughs> wow, Wow Brow. I would actually definitely repurchase this. This was so good. Especially for like the inner 
corner of the brow. This is in the shade taupe. It's actually really, really good. Don't get me wrong, like there wasn't much staying power with it, but it just was so feather-like and natural on the brows. And again, it's e.l.f. so affordable. I will definitely actually repurchase that, I must remember. Because I was actually thinking of doing a full face of e.l.f. It's been so long since I've bought or tried any new e.l.f. products, so I must actually remind myself to repurchase that. So, I have a lot of like brow pencils and liners here. This is one from She Glam. MEA Makeup Academy, again, She Glam. We have two of the Feather Effect brow pens from Colourpop. We have another pencil from She Glam. We have another brow pencil from Colourpop, Revolution. A brow pencil from Makeup Obsession. A brow pencil from Elf. We have another eyebrow pencil from Makeup Obsession. NYX Lift and Snatch brow tint pen. Bright time pen. <laughs> Lastly, a P. Louise eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I usually go through so many more lip liners than this. We have one from Juvia's Place, Maybelline, Sleek, um, LA Colours. We have one from Primark and we have my beloved <laughs> Sweet Tea by Morphe, which I really must actually repurchase ASAP. I finally got through my Urban Decay Primer Potion. <laughs> Morphe 2 Cream Blush. These were so good. I love this. I think this was actually the first product that actually like properly introduced me to cream blush. It was really, really nice that was. We have two eyelash glues. We have one liquid eyelash. I what is this? <laughs> we have a liquid eyeshadow. Ugh, look how dried up that is. Ew. And it's from Beauty Bay. Just their crystal liquid eyeshadows. This is from She Glam. Their clear bright liquid blush in the shade Luster. These are actually so, so nice. There's like still a wee bit left in it. I went through this the other day, finally. The MEA Blushed Liquid Blusher. Um, This is the Revolution Bright Light Highlighting Stick thing. I definitely cannot believe I have went through this. This is definitely like one of these products that, you know the way you just buy because it's on offer or whatever. <sighs> I can't believe I actually went through this and it's in the shade, fucking hell, uh, Beam Pink. So it's also like a shade I would never use either. But it was actually really, really nice. So I think if I ever see this again, I would actually, I definitely would actually purchase it, but I actually get um, uh, like a different shade. But it's, it's really, really nice actually. This is going to be a mixture of lipsticks, lip gloss, liquid lipsticks, lip balms, lip masks, treatments, everything. <laughs> Colourpop and Barbie lipstick. And then this is from Soda. This is a wee lip balm. Oh, it's actually really, really nice. It looks like a wee, looks like a wee pill. A wee velvet liquid lipstick I went through. A lip balm. This was vanilla mint. Oh, it smells so good. I love this. I absolutely love this lip conditioner. Um, it's from Technique and it is their plush pout lip conditioner they have uh they actually sent me like uh a couple of these as like backups and stuff which was a very kind of them but yeah so so good a couple of lipsticks now i have one from revolution pro this is one from color vs skin this is the color pop strawberry lip scrub rimmel london and kate moss how old is this like seriously <laughs> Shame on me. This is a Vanilla Blossom Nourishing Lip Oil. This is from Revolution as well. Uh, Pineapple Ice Lip Gloss. Mellow Cosmetics. It's just one of their liquid lipsticks. This is the P. Louise Stay Shining Lip. Lip. It's just a lip oil, I'm guessing. Water my melon. <laughs> This is another way Colourpop lip oil. The Colourpop lip oils are absolutely f fabulous by the way. They're so, so good. XX Revolution Chaos Gloss. Colourpop lippy stick in the shade Unreal. Stinks. 
another ColourPop lip oil. Maven Beauty, sus. Oh, this was definitely a go-to. BH Cosmetics Cashmere Cream in Thursday. Who remembers me using this? I use this all the time. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, this is another wee lip gloss from Makeup Obsession. Again, another one of my wee lip uh, conditioners from Technique. Mimi, me, 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 my. Lipstick, and then lastly, oh my god, this is. Look, we, we hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you see the state of this? I was in TK Maxx like a couple of years ago, and I seen this Carl Lagerfeld lip gloss, and I was like, oh my god, I have to have that because it was cheap and it was on offer, and I think it was like on sale or something. It's the most ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. And it was like this pink glittery early 2000s lip gloss and you best believe I never wore it out anywhere. I literally just would have used it as a lip gloss, lip balm situation, just walking around the house, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> but you unscrew it <laughs> and it has wee lights in it. Me, what even? And that's us. <laughs> I'm actually really proud with the amount of products I really did got get got get through but other than that guys thank you so 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 much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope to see you in my next video